So we're still in this random number idea. Obviously, if uh, it went beyond what I said I'd do initially, so got this random number and things like that, I've done lots of guesses. So all this kind of explanation has to be changed. So I'll go to that just now. I can put it in later on. Um, what we're going to do now is see how many guesses it takes. I mean, if you run it just now, save it please, thank you very much. That's one guess, two guesses, three guesses, four guesses, four guesses and the answer was four in the first place. So I want to see how many guesses it takes to get the answer correct. So the best way to do that is, before the loop starts, put in a variable and set it to zero. So I'm saying it's going to be called number of guesses, an integer, starts at zero. And every time I make a guess, I'll increase that by one. So I'll grab that line of code. I'm going to change it a bit, but I'll grab it. So I've typed in a guess here, right? So I'll say i number of guesses equals i number of guesses plus one. So that's increasing number of guesses by one at a time. So if I have four attempts, I'll be set at four at this point. At some point, I might want to tell the people how many guesses it took. So after the guesses are done, you took string version of that i number of guesses and then of course the word guesses so people know what I'm talking about let's test that out one five eight ten there you go so again it's four times let's run it again just to prove it isn't saying four for any strange reason ten let's half it five division conquer let's try three nope let's try a seven there you go. Oh, it took another four times. It does work more than four times or less. Let's try again. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, oh, took six times that time. So I was remembering how many guesses it took as well. I've noticed something I don't like about it. It doesn't give you any clues. So I think we should maybe make it do higher or lower. So it says, oh, you're too high or you're too low. And then work it from that point there. So I'm going to put this bit in here. If the guess number is greater than the random number, so I went too high, what I'll do is I'll put a nice little message out to give a clue. Too high. So if I basically make it too high, it'll tell me I went too high to tell me go the other way around maybe. Start guessing lower. And this one will be, if it's less than the random number. Again, a nice little message. In this case, we'll say, too low. So, if I put in, say, a 6, and the random number is a 3, it will show that. So I know I have to go lower. And the opposite works with the low one as well. So enter a guess. Mid-range, 5. I'm too low. So the answer has to be between 6 and 10. Let's do mid-range, 7. There you go. So I actually guessed the answer quicker than I did last time because that's helpful clue. I've also gamified the, the code as well. It's become more like a game. Oh, try that. Oh, it must be a 7 then because I tried a 5 and 8 and a 6. One on the left between the ranges is a 7. And there you go, 7.